Today, with the help of this device that I cobbled together from a box of scraps, we're going to have a competition, and this competition is going to measure not who's got the best groove, not who's got the best time, not who's the fastest, not even who has the best chops, but we're cutting right to the heart of the matter, the most important question when it comes to drumming prowess, which is how hard can you hit? I'll back up slightly. At one of the places that I teach, we recently got a drumometer, which if you're not familiar, is a device that measures how many strokes you can play in a specific amount of time, like in a minute. That's what they use for the world's fastest drummer competition. And it was a ton of fun getting all of the teachers and all of the students in the school to try it out and see if they could improve their speed and to see who they were faster than and who they were slower than. So a lot of really healthy and friendly competition going on. And it kind of got me thinking, huh, I wonder if you could do something similar with how hard you can hit. Fast forward a little bit, I got a clue in how I could do this from a Brandon Green video, and here we are. We have this thing that I don't really know what to call. Okay, I don't I don't have a name for this thing yet. What should we call it? The hard monitor. The hard monitor. So I guess we're calling it the hard monitor. So what I ordered here is called a digital force gauge, and what it does is it can measure pushing or pulling force in newtons. And it came with all of these little attachments, and fortunately one of the attachments actually screws perfectly to the bottom of a Remo practice pad. So from there, all I had to do was mount it to uh, this stand with these little mounting screws that are included, and voila, I've got this sort of janky hard monitor. So what I wanted to do is get a bunch of data points from students and then other teachers, and I wanted to learn two things. One, just how hard can everyone hit, of course, and then also I was kind of curious what the force of everyone's like medium, most average backbeat would be. I also wanted to control for as much variation as possible. So I set everyone up with two prompts as well as a few rules. The rules are no rim shots, five A's only, backbeat hand only, and you can't dead stick. Now you'll see that these rules were somewhat difficult to follow for some of my younger students. <laughs> but that's okay, I figured I'd leave them in regardless. I also asked for two measurements from everyone. To get everyone's just average backbeat, I wanted them to just pretend that they were playing a cover gig and just pretend that they're playing a typical average two and four backbeat. Then I let them loose and let them try as many times as they wanted and just hit this thing as hard as possible. Before I run the clips, I just want to say that I am not really sure about the consistency of this device specifically, and you'll see just based on the numbers we get, you can decide for yourself whether you feel like it was accurate or not, but I will say that everyone used the same device, everyone used the same pair of sticks, and as far as I can tell, followed all of my rules. So let's roll the clips and see how everyone did. What's your name? Jack Tanache. <laughs> All right, Jack, so here are the rules. No rim shots, five A's only, your backbeat hand only. I want you to just pretend that you're playing like, like a Michael Jackson tune, like you're playing Billie Jean or Beat It. Okay, very nice. So that is 0.9 Newtons. So now, as hard, as hard as you can hit. Whew, 3.1. All right, 3.1 is your score. All right, you want to introduce yourself first? <laughs> What's your name? I'm Yang Yang. No, Yang Yang. <laughs> All right, Yang Yang. You ready? Yeah. All right, go for it. Oh! oh! <gasps> Did you hit yourself? Yeah. You okay? Go for it again. Hit it again. Jeez! Make sure you don't hit the side. Just hit right in the center there. Okay, do it again. Go for it. An 8.8, .8. how is that even possible? Hold on, let me zero it back out again. Wait, 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 try it again. Holy smoke. All right, I think I think 3.6. I think 3.6 is your number. One time I got 8.8, .8. that was crazy. That was crazy, that was crazy. I don't know how that happened. Anything else you wanna say? What do you wanna say to the camera? I like Pokemon. Center there. Okay, do it again. Go for it. All right, what's your name? All right, my name is Arya Lakshman. Okay, so here are the rules, here are the rules, here are the rules. So, no, no rim shots. No rim shots. Two, two Newtons. Two Newtons is, is that force. So, now give us, hard to say it again, no rim shot, no dead sticking. Okay. Left hand only. Left hand only. Okay. It's gotta be your backbeat hand. Wait a second, I think I heard a rim shot in there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me reset that. So I see 4.9, let me zero that out. Let's see if you can, let's see if you can, okay. you can match that. Okay, okay. Okay, those sound, yowza. 
Like it owes you money. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see okay, what okay. you got. Let's see. What oh, 3.8. 3.8. You want you want a couple more couple more whacks at it? Three point nine. Three point nine is what I'm saying. All right. What's your name? Arjun. Arjun, would you go ahead and just play for me? Just play like your regular hit. Okay, that's a one. One Newton. Okay, now with your left hand only, hit the very center. What's your hardest hit? Whoo! Give me another one. Holy smokes! Whoa! Can't hit the side. You got to only hit the center. You only hit the side on that one. Okay, give me another one. Give me another one. Give me a hit. Right in the middle. There we go. Oh my gosh! What happened? You okay? Yeah. Well, that was a. Was it worth? That was for a two point three. I don't know if that was worth it or not. You want to try another one? <laughs> you think maybe a jump will give you some extra extra power there? All right, try one more. One more. Oh, that was a two point eight. Two point eight. I think two point eight is your highest. Nicely done. All right. All right. What's your name? My name is Viraj Singh. How long? How long have we been doing lessons? Uh, we've been doing lessons for about eight years now. Oh my uh, god. A guy. Unreal. Unreal. <laughs> and I want to know what your average backbeat is and then also how hard you can play a backbeat. So first of all, just pretend you're playing like a Michael Jackson tune, like you're playing Beat It or something, and you can just air drum and just get your left hand on there. And I want to see kind of what your average backbeat would be like. Nice, so 1.2 Newtons is the reading I'm getting. No no rim shots, no dead sticks. Can I get like a little load in there? Oh, of course, of course. Oh. Yowza. Look at that technique. You know you know I didn't teach you that technique because you're doing traditional grip. Let's see what you got. 3.6, 3.6 Newtons. Is that respectable? I don't know, I've only done a few of them so far. Right. I think I think Arya maybe got to 3.9. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a couple more. Okay, all right, all right, let's see what you got. So 3.6, that's what we're working on. Yeah, what's up? Holy smokes. Oh my goodness, a 4.0. Okay, like that. wow. In the gym, guys. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you see that? What's your name? Evan. All right, go for it. Ooh. Okay, so that's a 1.8. 1.8 is your average. Gives your hardest. 3.3, okay. I think 3.3. Nicely done. All right, what's your name? Uh, I'm Ryan Maloney. Okay, so that's like 1.9 Newtons. Holy smokes. Holy smoke. Oh, okay, definitely. Now, yeah, I, there's a 4.6 in there, which is pretty darn heavy, but I think there's a rim shot in there. So let me zero that out. Let me zero that out and uh, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Okay, all right. Just had a 4.1 there at the end. All right, guys, this is the one I'm scared for. This is Will. Will, of course, works here. West Coast Drum Shop. Will, do you think you're gonna be able to hit the hardest out of everyone that have tested? I honestly wouldn't question either. Okay, so here are the ground rules. So it's five A's only, backbeat hand only. So for you, that's gonna be your right hand. Everyone else it has been their left, but backbeat hand only. Okay. So 2.8 is 2.8 newtons is your like average, okay? So now for the main event, no rim shot. One shot only, right? No, you can you can do it several times if you several want. Times? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a rim shot. I was gonna say, I was like, <laughs> damn, that wasn't. That was a 6.1. Ready? Oh! Oh! <laughs> no! You broke the stick! On a practice pad. Oh no! And was was that without a rim shot? No rim shot. Jeez! That was a 3.6. Wow. Okay. Well, I think you. I mean, I think the stick broke. And yeah, I think you lost a lot of force from the stick breaking. <laughs> That's okay. We still got one. Okay. Let's see if this. All right, go for it. See if you can beat 3.6. Five point one. No. That was solid, and that sounded clean too. Yeah, I think that was pretty. Okay. Cool. Now, do you want just for fun? Do you want to hit Let's a mass? You want to do, do a massive rim shot? Okay. I'm gonna step back. Okay. Oh. Well, it turned off. <laughs> All right, and this is Chris. Chris, of course, also works. 
<laughs> at West Coast Drum Shop. They're just talking about how Will broke the stick. So, okay. 2.4, it looks like. Okay. I think 5.4 might be it. I think 5.4 is about my high. Okay, okay. All right, folks, I'm starting the camera again. We'll, we'll just... I we'll lose. We'll I just lose at this. Saw Chris get a 5.4, <laughs> and he wants another shot at it. So Will's coming back for round two. Whenever you're ready. Okay. 5.2. <laughs> <Five> <laughs> <laughs> okay, there is there is a 5.8 in there. There's yes. a 5.8. Yes. Do, do you think there are any rim shots there? No, no okay. rim shots. There was a couple I couldn't tell. There but. was a couple like dead sticks, though. You weren't bouncing off. Yeah. Uh, uh, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't hit no rims. I can tell I, you. You can't dead stick either, but... Uh, did I dead stick? Well, you I don't know. Dead stick, well, you kind of left, let it. Leave, you know what? Like you're pushing through. I should be doing this. I was trying to bounce off. I should be doing this in slow mo. Yeah. I was trying. Okay. To, was okay. Trying I'm gonna to do. Off. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Well, I dead stick after I lift. All right. So hopefully you could tell everyone had a lot of fun trying this out, but I actually haven't done it myself yet. So let me set up the other camera and I'll give it a go. <laughs> All right, so a 2.3 seems like it's my standard backbeat. 4.8. Ah, okay, so my arm kind of hurts now, but I have gotten my data points, I suppose. But let me get the videos together, put all the data in a spreadsheet, and then I'll come back and talk to you afterwards. All right, I'm here at the computer. I've got all the data put together. But before we look at it, I just want to say that you should take all of this with a pretty big grain of salt. I really cannot attest to the veracity of these data points. I was constantly having to, to mess with the hardmometer and zero it back out, and it was consistently giving me sort of weird or atypical results. I cut out a lot of that from, uh, from my film just to make it more interesting. I think on average, it probably does what it says it does, but there are just so many variables that I couldn't account for. So bear that in mind. Now, looking at the data going into the computer here, we can see that in general, we've got, for the most part, the students hitting a little bit softer and the teachers hitting a little bit harder. So Will, uh, Chris, and myself are all teachers, um, and then everyone else, even though they're great drummers in their own right, um, are all students kind of in the uh, upper area here. You can see that the average backbeat for when we're just pretending to play a Michael Jackson song is about 1.8, and then the average for the hardest hit is about a 4.2. Now. Do those numbers really mean anything? Not really, more so just what that means in context with all the rest of the numbers. So Will definitely had the hardest normal backbeat and the hardest, um, hardest hit. And then uh, Chris and myself were right about in there as well with our hardest hits and with our normal backbeats. And then um, all the students were a little bit lower. I don't know if there's a huge takeaway here other than maybe to hit your backbeats a little bit harder because it, it tends to look like those with more experience in general tend to hit a little bit harder. Um, but so much of this is context contingent. I've got students that are more into jazz. I've got students that are more into rock. Everyone is physically a different size. So I'm sure that accounts for something to. Now, last thing before we go, there's a little bit of controversy on whether Will's 5.8 was legit or not, whether he was dead sticking. So I did take some slow-mo footage. I had him play again and I took some, some slow-mo footage so that I could analyze it frame by frame. Now there are a couple hits where if you watch them in slow-mo, it almost looks like he dead sticks or like he digs into the head, like this one, for example, like that. But if you go through frame by frame, you can see he hits once and then the stick comes back down like it's gonna hit again, but he does control it. He doesn't actually hit a second time. So I'm gonna give that to him. I think that that 5.8 is completely legit. So one more time, I don't really know what the moral of the story is other than I hope that that was somewhat entertaining. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you next time.